Hey guys, what's up? It's Nook the Videos HD and I am here with the latest update for The Simpsons Tapped Out. So today we're here with an interesting little promo for the upcoming Christmas event. This little update is formerly referred to as the Rigelian Christmas promo. And it's pretty much just a little update centered around Kang, Kodos, and Christmas. So as you guys can see, we have a little pop-up here on the screen that has to kind of kick off the little update. Kang is upset that he missed Halloween, but you can get his Rigelian Christmas spaceship to help lift his spirits. Okay. So I guess that's available over in the store. The humans left us out of their televised Halloween celebration again. I'm so hurt. Not me. I'm far too important to care what some stupid humans do. Oh, right. I am not hurt either. It doesn't bother me at all. They will pay for this outrage. I will take over and destroy some other human holiday. Not that I care. So we need to make Kang research human holidays. You made me swallow my gum. Uh Hey, what are you, blind or something? Okay, so we'll send him to go and do that. And just a quick side note for those few of us who are having that strange glitch with the uh, constant running sound. That is now gone, which is good. Um, let's go over the, to the store real quick and check out, because it says we have 22 new items. Obviously, I think that that's just a glitch. Oh, okay. Never mind. So, for some strange reason... All of the facades, the Christmas decoration facades, have returned to the store, despite the fact that I already have all of them. So we're looking at the Christmas Sanjay's house right here, and, uh... Kneel before your alien masters! And, uh, obviously I already have it. So for some reason, they're available in the store. Now, I did read something on uh, one of the pages that I quickly looked at before I started this video, and it said, do not purchase any of the facades if you already have them. It'll pretty much just be wasting your donuts. So I guess we'll just test this really quick. I just don't want the game to crash or freeze or anything. But, all right, yeah. So I guess you can just keep purchasing them, and it does absolutely nothing except for blow my donuts, basically. So don't purchase any, uh, any of the facades if you already have them. That's pretty much just the point of that. But anyway, let's continue off this quest line here. Hey, what are you, blind or something? Apparently this Christmas holiday is a big deal. It even has its own embryo-based elixir. Oh yes, eggnog is the best of both worlds, alcohol and cholesterol. At Christmas, you get presents for being good, although in my experience, it's a pretty loose definition. Actually, it's supposed to be a celebration of peace and I have heard enough. Why does everyone say that whenever it's my turn to talk? Make Kang learn about the spirit of Christmas. Maybe I'll take a human I'll just chill out in my I'll glass surprise, dome. Mom. Okay, so we'll send Kang to go and do that. Kneel before your alien masters. Hey, what are you, blind or something? I have learned much about the Earthling's Christmas, Kodo. Kodos. It celebrates family, love, and peace. I am moved to tears. Tears of joy about how easy it will be to conquer this pathetic holiday. Now, all I need is a more festive vehicle, one in which I can slay all day. Place the Rigelian Christmas spaceship, make Kang laugh evilly at his own joke. Okay, so luckily this thing is free, and it's going to be around for another 33 days. So clearly this is basically just one big spoiler to an upcoming Christmas event that's going to last at least 33 days. I would expect it to last a little bit longer, but... Uh, I guess 33 days is long enough for a Christmas event. So the Rigelian Christmas Spaceship, like I said, is free. Improves your vanity rating, which is pretty cool. So uh, we'll place that thing down. Oh, and we will make man. Kang laugh evilly at his own joke, which will require the spaceship. Kaboom! Sweet. Okay, so all those things are still in the store, so we don't have to worry about that, basically. So let's make Kang evilly laugh at oh, his own big joke. Man. Time to slay! Maybe I'll take a human bride. That'll surprise Mom. Okay. So, it doesn't seem like this has any animation when someone is there. But I guess we'll have to see if we click on it. I'm getting athlete's tentacles, something terrible. Hey, what are you, blind or something? This decked out Christmas murder saucer is just the thing to fool the earthlings into thinking I am their beloved Santa Claus. And to complete the disguise, I thread bear jacket and a tin pot for a hat. That is the outfit of Johnny Appleseed, the patron character of Arbor Day. 
I see. Perhaps some more research is in order. Mick Kang research his Christmas costume. Oh, big man! I'll just chill Maybe out in my glass dome. That'll surprise Mom. So I'm not sure how this quest line works if you don't have Kang as a character. I believe that he was once premium. Or maybe that was Kodos. Hmm. I'm getting athlete uh, tentacles, something terrible. Just kind of interested to see what would happen if you don't have Kang in your town. So if anybody doesn't have Kang and would like to let me know in the comments below what this entire quest line is like for you, I would appreciate that. You made me swallow my gum. My plans are complete. The conquest of Christmas can begin as soon as I give the command. But am I really ready to say farewell to Halloween, to trade in ghosts and goblins for elves and merriment? This is going to take some thinking over, and that's going to take some serious Rogelian whiskey. Make Kang be torn over Halloween or Christmas. Hey, what are you, blind I'll or something? chill out in my glass dome. So he's actually chilling out in his Santa costume, and he's being torn over Christmas or Halloween. Gets a little fed up with it and destroys both. So that's Kang's new task that he has, which is pretty cool. I'm getting athlete's tentacles, something I am so terrible. wasted. Kodos, I love you, man. I'm doing it. I'm coming for Christmas. Beware December, ha ha ha. I thought Kodos was a girl. But first, I'm coming for the toilet. I feel so sick. You've been awarded Kang's Be Torn over Halloween or Christmas animated job. Sweet. Kang is lurking until the time is ripe for conquest. Keep logging in to see the action. Oh, I will. And that's it. So, you made me swallow my gum. As you can see, Kang now has this task to be torn over Halloween or Christmas. And we now have this cool new Rigelian Christmas uh, spaceship. So we can click on it real quick and see what it does. So it doesn't have any animation associated with it. At least for now. I have a sneaking suspicion that there's going to be something significant that will have to do with this when the Christmas event finally comes. The reason being is because when you are placing it down, the spaceship is not there. So that usually has to do with um, something that will have some sort of a function later on. It's kind of hard to explain. I guess what I'm saying is like, for example, all right, I guess for this, because uh, the rocket ship is part of the decoration, but at the same time, there's also a, um, there's also like a form where the rocket ship is not there. So I guess, I don't know. My point is that there's going to be something significant with this later on. At least that's my prediction. So we're not done with this just yet. And I'm sure it's going to have some sort of role in the update that's going to be coming. Either way, it does have a sound though. When you click on it, it has sort of like a spaceshipy Christmas theme to it. We'll listen to that one more time. Pretty cool. So yeah, so that's it for this little update. The Rigelian Christmas promo update. Definitely always cool when they do little promos and stuff for big events that are coming. And I'm glad to see that they are actually continuing off on the trend. Or more like the tradition of having a Christmas event. I know a lot of people were a little weary as to whether or not they were going to have one this year. I mean, personally, I always thought that they were going to. There's no way that they would skip out on a Christmas event. Um, obviously, I thought they were going to be doing one a little bit unorthodox, like this one, which is fine, um, as long as it's not <coughs> pagan. But anyway, I'm just glad to see that Christmas is coming, and of course, now we are 100% sure with this little promo that we got. So thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Um, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of this little update or any speculation you have in regards to Christmas itself. And of course when the Christmas update comes out, which should be soon, I'm going to shoot for probably like Tuesday, maybe sooner actually, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. But uh, either way, let me know down in the comments section below if you guys enjoyed this. And of course when that update comes out, I will be sure to make a video about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Keep on tapping and peace out. Thank you.